Hello YouTube and the YouTube pipe smoking community that is y'all. How y'all doing? Alright. I guess we ought to start out with some housekeeping. I've got the old man. It's the country gentleman. The very first cob that I ever purchased. In it which is the subject of today's video is a house blend called English Long Cut and I've got the uh, camera reversed hey how about that it's backwards to me but forwards to you English Long Cut Just pack the bowl. Pretty good. Uh, pretty good Latakia blend. All right, like I was alluding to to the subject of the video is when is the last time that you visited your local BNM, your local brick and mortar? I picked this up about a week, maybe two weeks ago. I've been teaching on it pretty good. Um, but there's some neat things that you can find in your local brick and mortar. For example, how about a tin of. Hold on. Just hold on right there. Right where you're at. Hold on. Just stay right there. Okay. You know, magical, you know. Magical things that we can do here on the YouTube. Hey, that looks right. Capstan, the yellow box or yellow tin. You're saying that's nothing really special to write home about. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let me I see if I can get this to even focus. How about a 10 for March of 2013 that's just laying on the shelf saying, buy me. I had to buy. Another tin, Peterson Balkan Delight. Uh, I don't know how to uh, tell how old this is. There's not a born on date anywhere that I can see. It's got to have a little age. This isn't going to show up real well, but uh, there's a little bit of yellowing on the sticker. But I've got more. How about another Peterson blend that's no longer made? Not just that one. That's right. Picked up two. All ahead. So, what I'm trying to say is, go visit your local brick and mortar. I try to walk into mine about once a, about once a month, if not a little bit quicker than that. Um, you'll never know what you find. I've already asked him about the esoterica blends and uh, he can't get them. Although he has been on the phone with a Rango Tobacco and uh, trying to get them, but uh, his store, I guess, is small enough where they won't sell it to him. But 
you never know what you're going to find just laying on the shelf. Um, there's another tin of Peterson on the uh, shelf. Um, I may go back and pick it up. I don't remember what it was. Uh, but I just looked at pipesandcigars.com and they've got it in stock and um, not quite half the price. Um, but um, so I may just leave that on the shelf and let somebody else buy that one. Still just a little damp, a little wet. We should let it dry out just a little. That's a good, good English blend. The drawback to buying from brick and mortars, you're gonna pay a little bit more, but you're supporting a local business and you're gonna find stuff that nobody else has. You're gonna make some good friendships and uh, all that kind of good stuff that goes along with that. You can go in and buy little bitty samples to see what you like. So, as the old commercial used to say, and I'm gonna modify it just a little bit. When's the last time you went to your local brick and mortar? Well, that's way too long. Hey, I'll see y'all later. Bye.